Good morning, everyone. It is the Thursday morning TIFF. I'm Bonnie Dotson with Cool Mountain Realty and Construction. And this morning we are going to talk about um, how to prepare your home for um, a winter storm, um, which obviously here we are in the throes of winter. Um, it's been super cold the last uh, week. Um, I feel it because I'm trying to get over this cold still, so I feel a ton better. But, um, you know, in the mountains, it's not a normal thing for us to get you know, a winter storm. It's just, you know, it's, it's part of it. That's, that's the season that we're in at the moment. Um, our first reaction when we hear that on the news, doo, 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 we're having a winter storm. Um, it's everybody runs to the grocery store to get your basics, milk, bread, eggs. And in my house, it's milk, eggs, and bacon because <laughs> we can live without bread. We can't live without bacon. But um, we don't think about our house, you know, when we get those alerts, we don't think about um, you know, it, can my home handle this storm that we're about to get? Um, cause there's things that we just, you know, day to day basis, we don't really think about, you know? Um, so in this article in, on our website, which is www.coolmountainrealty.com backslash blog. Um, but it talks about, um, basic things to, to just inspect before the storm gets there. So things like your roof is the number one thing. Cause you know, it, in the winter time, it's really hard to fix, um, you know, a leak. So just every once in a while, go up there, just check it out, you know, make sure your gutters aren't, you know, full of old leaves from fall. Um, there aren't any missing shingles, um, especially after that windstorm we got, I'm sure um, a few of us <laughs> lost some shingles. Um, you know, just places in your roof that stay wet, um, that can indicate, you know, um, that there is a leak there. Um, Another thing it talks about to, to prepare is to have your heating system checked on. Um, if it's going to be like a huge storm, you know, and, and you've had having issues, you think, or it's just you don't feel like the thermostat is right and it's the emergency heat's kicking on too much, you know, have somebody come in, schedule them to come in and, and just kind of inspect that because you do not want to lose your heat, especially if that's your main source. If you don't have a wood stove or anything extra because, you know, it's really dangerous to bring like, other heaters in your house because then you have to deal, deal with like carbon monoxide and all that stuff and that would stress me out and I wouldn't be able to handle that. Um, another thing is obviously da, 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 own a shovel. Um, here's your sign. Have a shovel. Um, don't have a shovel out in a, in a garage somewhere exterior where you can't get to it um, because then you have to walk through the storm to do what you got to do. If you have a garage, put it in the garage. If you have a mud room, stash it in there. That way it's easy access to it. Um, the next thing they talk about in here is um, be prepared for slippery or icy surfaces. A lot, I don't have a, a walkway that I have to worry about that way. Um, but like a lot of people have like those long curved, you know, um, concrete walkways. So you can pre-make like a, a bucket of like road salt and maybe some play sand and have it like by your front door and in, inside, obviously, because you don't want it to be outside. It'll freeze. You won't be able to use it and you throw that out to have a little bit of traction and melt that ice, especially um, as you're getting older and you can't shovel that way. It'll melt that snow um, and, and you don't have to worry about that. The last and, and I think more important than the roof and all the other things we talked about um, is to keep an eye on your plumbing. Um, a lot of times, um, like for me in my house, my kitchen sink is on an exterior wall. So that main pipe runs down an exterior wall so it's exposed so we've got it insulated extra and then if it gets down to like 32 to 20 degrees and then we, you know sometimes in the mountains we have wind chills of like zero or whatever I tend to leave it dripping which I'm sure a lot of you guys do um also I think you know the old wise tale which guys don't do this don't break out your blow torches because I know that would be so much fun but let's not do that um if it, you do have a pipe that freezes, you know, just a hair dryer will work, um, work well. So put that good hair dryer to good use so you can have some running water. So these are things to just um, keep up with, keep an eye on. We have those reports of, you know, winter storms to, you know, prepare yourself, go to the grocery store, do your thing, but also prepare your home. Um, and then uh, tune in next week to see how um, in the midst of chaos, how to possibly fix that. So um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Stay warm. It's not going to be very warm this weekend. So um, find something fun to do. Um, Check out our Facebook page tomorrow. We'll have a list of things that are going on this weekend. So.
we will see you guys on the flip.